Hello and welcome to the Matthew Ocknart channel again. If you're new here then welcome aboard. If you've been to the channel before you'll know that some of the recent videos that I've done have been real-time videos rather than time-lapse videos of me creating work. I used um, figure drawing or life drawing um, for this because the poses often in life drawing are quite short because the model can't hold them for that long. So um, the first two videos were 10 minute poses and I'm gonna do another one of this series of videos um, with an, again, a 10 minute pose. This wasn't a life drawing group. Um, it was just a friend of mine that was posing um, remotely via a Zoom um, call. And it's a good way of getting practice at life drawing and having the timed experience of life drawing um, without actually having the model sitting with you. So um, it has some advantages and some disadvantages, but this is gonna be another one of those videos where I'm doing real time drawing so that people can see how the drawing uh, sort of develops in real time. I think sometimes when you see time-lapse videos, as I said in the other videos, it can look like you know the artist is a genius and they're just throwing the work down on the sh on the page but of course in reality when it's at normal speed you can see how hesitant the marks are and how deliberate the marks are when they're made so um i hope you enjoy this video um and we'll see how we get on Well, you can see here I've got a landscape orientation to the, the sketch pad. It's sort of a lying down or reposing pose that we're drawing here. I've started with the head as I often do. And obviously that's over towards the left hand side of the page because the legs are going to be stretched out towards the right. I've realised actually I said in the introduction that this was a 10 minute pose. This is actually a 15 minute pose. So it's slightly longer than the last two videos that I did. Um, but I think that's quite useful anyway. I wouldn't want to do any longer than a 15 minute pose without speeding it up because it's quite a commitment for people to actually sit and watch that long. But as I said in the introduction, you can see already that it's quite deliberate, the drawing that I'm doing. Um, at, while I'm actually doing this, I'm sitting chatting to the model uh, which can be sort of distracting to a certain extent. But you can certainly see that it takes me sort of a while to firm up where I think things are. So I put a hesitant mark on and then look at the angles, um, look at the position in relation to other things as I'm putting stuff on. So I'm very much looking at the angle of the head, the forehead, um, looking how far down and where the eyebrow is in relation to the top of the ear that I've already added. So those are the sorts of triangulations that I'm doing when I'm putting these deliberate marks on. It is actually quite a deliberate um, drawing this there isn't much expressiveness going on really i'm probably being a bit too detailed at this stage if i'm being honest when you're marking out a drawing you shouldn't really be putting the face your facial features on at this stage um you sh i often would start with just a, a sort of a an egg shape for the for the head until I've got all the, the limbs in and uh, the arms and that sort of thing. Um, but for some reason on this one, I'm starting with a very tiny portrait before I, I put the rest of the, the body on. I don't think it works out too badly in this case, but you can end up spending far too long on the face and then realizing that the head's too big, for instance, and therefore the feet are gonna be off the end of the page. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If it's in a sketchbook, it's practice. It doesn't matter whether you fit the whole figure on or not, to be honest. Um, I'm just happy to have the chance to practice live drawing in the timed sort of environment.
15 minutes uh, doesn't seem very long if you're not an experienced life drawer, but I was at a life drawing session, a live life drawing session in a town near me on Sunday evening and the person running the, the group wanted us to do warm-up exercises of 30 seconds, um, several of those to start the evening off. Uh, we had some quite long poses though after that, 35 and 45 minutes, but 15 minutes is sort of quite a long time when you practice at, at, at doing live drawing. You might be interested to know if there's a likeness or not in that little portrait that I've done. It's only about an inch square, the face, really. And there's a sort of pseudo-likeness to the model. But again, I'm not really worried about that. Even when I do sort of portrait sketching, it's the, the sort of quality of the atmosphere, the light um, that I'm looking for, not whether it's a perfectly accurate representation of what I'm copying. I think some artists can get very hung up about, does it look like the photograph? And it's partly why I don't show the reference photograph, or in this case, I couldn't anyway, because it's a, a live model. Um, but I, even if I work from a photograph, I tend not to show the reference photograph of what I'm working, because people judge the piece of work by whether it looks exactly like the photograph, not whether it's a decent piece of, of art with nice lighting on it, that sort of thing. So I, I do shy away from showing people the reference photograph. Often there is a likeness, but sometimes there might not be. If you've watched the channel, then you've seen some um, recent videos where I've been experimenting with an electric eraser. Um, and those drawings don't particularly look like the, the model that I was, or the photograph of the model that I was using. But that's not the point. I quite like them as drawings. And it was a, a good way of testing out some new equipment that I never used before. You can see here again how deliberate I'm being. I'm checking the angles all the time in the reference. In this case, the model on the screen, on Zoom. And it's not until I'm sure about the angle. So you can see there's, there's slight changes of angle around the breast area, the stomach area. I'm judging where the belly button is in relation to the the chest. Trying to get the angles right of the curvature of the stomach, that sort of thing. Which shoulder is higher? What's the angle of the shoulder? And it's those clues that give you the actual overall weight of the body in the pose. So you can see that one shoulder is lower here, for instance, because the model's leaning back and leaning to one side slightly. The thing to remember when you're doing life drawing, I think really is don't be too hard with your, your initial marks, you know, put them on very gently and then you can always go over them with more lines to reinforce the one that you actually think is correct. Um, or you can erase them and, and add them in the right place as you develop the drawing. You can see I'm starting to add shading here. I'm just using sort of the same angle for all the shading. Now putting that, that sort of armpit in there, it's quite a long way from everything else. So when I'm triangulating, I'm having to look where is the 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 armpit in relation to the where the ear is vertically, where the um, other armpit is. It's much lower, for instance, because the model is leaning back and to the side. Um, so it's, again, those triangulations that I'm doing all the time when I'm drawing. That arm there, that I'm drawing at the moment is quite difficult because there's a pillow covering half of it and it's those sorts of things that can make it quite difficult to make it look like an arm. 
but with practice and, and repetition you can get better at this sort of thing. Now I've got the armpit in the right place, I can start adding the shadow under the, the right hand breast. Placement of the nipple, now I've got that in place and again looking at where it is in relation to the features on the face that I've already added and the nipple on the other side, again it should be lower because the shoulder on this side is lower. Trying when I add the shadows there on, on the right hand side of the body to, to make it look like the, they go around the stomach. So again, to, to fill out the, the, the form of the, the body. Being very careful here with the angles as I'm drawing that raised leg. And there's a good example where you see that I've, I've changed that line by just adding extra lines to it. And you can always erase them to make them less strong in in a while, you know, just, just sort of feel your way with gentle lines to start with and work out if they're in the right places as you develop the drawing. I use a timer when I'm doing this sort of thing um, with live models over Zoom. So I just set a timer on the computer. Um, and I see it's often the case that you sort of speed up towards the end because you realize that you're running out of time. So I spent an awful long time on the, on the head on this one. And I'm probably getting quicker and quicker the further I go. Of course, it becomes a bit easier as well to get quicker because you've got more reference points to hang everything off. Um, so you can get things in the right place more quickly. When you've just started a drawing, there's not a lot of other references to, to, to line things up with, whereas towards the end, there's lots of references. I think I've captured the weight and the leaning back pose of the body quite well overall in this drawing. Again, I'm trying to indicate the, the soft bedding here that's all sort of encasing that stretched out leg there. Makes it look a little odd. Again, firming up the knee and where I want the knee to be. Just trying to add some of the foot detail there because that leg that sort of raises is, is flopped out to the side a little bit as well. So I'm trying to indicate that by seeing the bottom of the foot or indicating the bottom of the foot. And now the shadows to help with that light direction.
now just indicating where the end of the foot is really um we're not far off from finishing just indicating some of the pillows that the model is leaning up against here i think it helps with a pose to put in some of the environment to to, to help you with the weight of the body and the their environment headboard of the bed there going in you only have to indicate that really. And we're about done at that, I think. Well, this is the final drawing. Uh, 15 minutes worth of drawing, as you've seen. I hope that you've enjoyed watching it um, and that you've enjoyed seeing me work in real time. If you're new here, then do consider subscribing. I try and post as many videos as I can. I'm trying to do two or three um, a week at the moment, to be honest. Um, sometimes I only manage one a week, but I'm trying to keep them coming as much as possible. It takes quite a long time to create them. So if you've enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. That will help the channel and the numbers out. And as I say, do think about subscribing um, and then you'll be notified when you come to YouTube of any new videos that I've released. You can also, of course, click the notification bell, which will, will notify you when I release new videos. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm on an artistic journey learning myself. I'm trying to practice as much as I can. So there's lots of sketchbook stuff going on at the moment, um, including the life drawing. I think life drawing is one of the, the best things for getting your hand-eye coordination up to speed and your observation skills up to speed. The reason that I can sort of do life drawing, as you've seen me do in this video, without grids and that sort of thing to make it easier to get everything in the right place is because I've practiced so much and I'm very I'm getting very good at at cross-referencing where things are in relation to other things so sort of um, triangulating the drawing as, as I add it to the page and that sort of thing comes with practice so if you're new to it then keep persevering you will get better as you keep trying Okay, well, thank you for your time in watching the video, um, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.